On December 17, 2014, a very close cousin of mine had died, and he is the cousin that actually brought me to the Lord and helped me to accept the Lord. A million people prayed for me constantly for years, but he was the final person that actually touched me. And that same day, I had a visit at a, a, a an adult senior uh, living facility in the east side. That day was the first time I actually said a prayer and asked for God's peace and spirit to be with me and to make this event a joyful event. In the bottom of my heart, every moment that I was there, I had a sadness and it was a heavy weight. But then at the end of the evening, this family came in, a mother and three children, two girls and a boy. I says, come on over, have a seat, because they were the youngest people there. So they all sat on my lap. So I asked the little boy, I says, what would you like for Christmas? And he says, my sister tells me I need to read books. I said, that's very good. So he said, I want books. Then the middle daughter says, I want books so I can trade with him when he's done. I said, very good. And then I asked the oldest daughter, and she says, I want more people to know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior so they can have the kingdom of God. I instantaneously, without hesitation, said, pray for one. And all the pain and all the sorrow exactly just went away. It's like my heart just exploded, that heavy weight around it. And I felt so good. And that girl just rocked my heart, rocked my world. You know, I got to find this lady because she has to know what her daughter did for me. And it wasn't until last week, December 14, 2016, when Jason asked me to do a visit a children's group party on Wednesday night that I turned around and that same little face all lit up says, Santa, do you remember me? And I looked at her and I saw her. I go, oh my God, where's your mother? And the mother was right there. And I walked up to the mother and says, you have to know what your oldest, what your children did, what your oldest daughter did for me that night. And I realized even more so then that you just have to keep your heart open. And my sister comes to this church now after 30 some odd years. One of the greatest moments of my life was when my little sister, five foot two, looked up and she goes, I'm your one. How do you beat that? You know, you just can't. So, so my sister's with me and she's been my wingman all my life. And you know, she's gonna be with me someday. And hopefully I can, but the two of us, we can get more in the kingdom of God and my whole family can be reunited. <laughs> I'm Mallory and I'm still praying for one. And I'm Santa Claus. I'm still praying for one also.